Hey everyone, in this video I'll teach you how to embed a Desmos visualization, a Desmos graph into Microsoft OneNote so you can use it while you're teaching. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. Okay, so let's jump right into it. We have a graph. This is a graph I used for a previous video. You'll see the card appear on the top right on dynamic labels. It's just the idea that when you change the X here, the labels appear. That's beside the point. Let's take this graph. I'll just try to reset it to one. There you go. And let's put it in OneNote. Okay. So all you have to do to embed something in OneNote is you go to share graph, click. You'll see this share this link. So you just click on copy. If you want to embed it in WordPress or anything like that, you can click embed and this is the iframe. I think this is HTML code that you can uh, copy paste in WordPress. I might make a video on that. Let me know in the comments if you want that. And But for now, we're just doing it in OneNote. So we just click the actual um, HTTPS link, copy, and then let's hover, head over to OneNote. I have this page, so let's call it something like embed uh, Desmos in OneNote. So when I'm teaching math, uh, I don't have my Surface Pro. I'm doing this on my desktop, but still I have my Wacom. So let's say I'm teaching math, whatever. And uh, that's that's how you teach math. But all you need to do to embed a Desmos in OneNote is you just control V you or you can right click and uh, paste. And then there you go, the link appears and it automatically embeds it. So if you, I'll just display like this, but if you click on the refresh symbol, you see that now you have a Desmos visualization. Labels always look kind of weird. Uh, you can make this bigger, for example, for the time of your visualization. Let's say I don't, I want to get rid of the label entirely. I can just press play, get rid of this. And while you're teaching in OneNote, you have this effect. So this is kind of cool because you can uh, go to Desmos or show a visualization without leaving your OneNote page. It looks more professional and you don't have to switch screens all the time. If you want to just put the Desmos link, however, I would recommend that you do a control V again, and then it does this on automatically. So you can just hit the undo arrow and then it just puts the link. Or alternatively, you can control V and control Z. Control Z is undo, right? So this just puts the link. Let me know if you have questions or comments in the comment section below. All the links will be there, timestamps and whatnot. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for doing the work.